One thing that you can do locally during the pandemic is the historic downtown Papillion walking tour. I see so many people walking the tour now, and I don't know if other people have noticed, but um, seeing people out doing the tour and getting to learn more about the city that, that I love, that I know I've only been here for three years, but I feel already part of the community, seeing other people getting that history is really exciting. It does cover the the origins, the or the origin story of Papillion from its 1870s railroad town, but it goes beyond that. Uh, that might be the beginning, but we have a, a colorful history of the downtown stretch here uh, during the later years of the 19th century into the early years of the 20th century. Uh, that's documented in was it's 21 different panels. Amber really wants people to learn and understand Papillion's history. I don't know that there could have been a better project that could have accomplished what we wanted to on leaving a legacy for the community and um, one that expands the downtown and, and really um, has people see the heritage of the community and hopefully be proud of it. Ben likes the specifics pointed out during the tour. It talks about uh, individuals, highlights uh, you know a number of folks like Papillion's first mayor, William Robinson, um, and, and tells that story kind of through what they might have seen. Knowing the community's history is really invaluable. I'm a huge fan of understanding the, the community because um, it, it provides a deeper sense of appreciation. It gets you more civically minded. So, you know, it's possible you take the tour, the walking tour, and next thing you know, you're interested a little bit more about the community. Maybe you join some clubs and organizations uh, and become a vibrant and active member of, of Papillion. Not just, you don't just live there, but you're actively and engaged in the community. And that makes for a stronger community for all of us. A lot went into making the walking tour happen. It was a great collaboration between a number of different organizations and I think it's it's a fantastic place to start and really get a, a lot of um, broad Papillion history under your belt and then from there move in and, and find out a little bit more by visiting the Sarpy County Museum. Next time we'll hear from a member of the Papillion Area Historical Society. Thanks for watching. For Papillion Now, I'm Tori Pantalian.